Whether directly or indirectly, I know Jocko follows this principle. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. This is an intro. This question I I had to pull out because what well, you're going to see it's very. I think it's a question that maybe you might be even more suited to answer than me. But go ahead, proceed. Interesting. Now let's say you're sitting on the couch and you want to switch the light on. The switch is to your right. And you know there's a 95% chance that you can reach it from where you're sitting without having to leave the couch. What do you do? Do you take the chance to reach it or to, to reach for it in vain and then get up, walk to the switch and turn it on? Or do you get up right away and make, and make the extra effort and get it done in the most efficient manner regardless of if, <laughs> if there was potentially an easier way. Yeah, I get you. I think Thank we you. know where you sit on this. I, I know I'd love to give some big profound yeah. answer about this, yeah. but here's the deal. I would accurately assess the distance to the light switch, mm-hmm. right? Oh, accurately. Accurately yeah. assess right. it. And, and I'd figure out the best way to turn it on, mm-hmm. and then I'd turn it on. That's what I'd do. Yeah. I mean, if I got to get up out of bed, I get up, get to get out of bed. Yeah. Or I'd pull, uh, pull, uh, we on the couch? Is that the yes. situation? Yes. W- Oh, and I need the light on. So, yeah. Or I'd get the light on my phone out and see what I got to see with the light. Oh, use light, that right? light, huh? Because yeah. I'm thinking out of the box over on my side. Well, right? that's what, what I'm doing. What you did was naked. As far as, the, as far as the thing, the way you do anything is the way you do everything, it's partly true. But at the same time, guess what? You got to prioritize and execute. Yep. And, and there are some things that are not as important as other things. Mm-hmm. My famous example is that my gym floor in my home gym is not clean. Yep, it's There's chalk on it, there's some sweat stains. I don't go in there three times a week with a mop and swab it and get all the chalk out and power wash it. That's Mm -hmm. what it would take. Maybe two times a week if I power washed it, pull all the stuff out of the garage, power wash the mats, pull them back in there, set the garage back up. That's what it would take to keep the mats clean. That does, I don't care if those mats are clean or not. Doesn't matter to me, mm-hmm. right? I have to prioritize. There's much, much, much more important things than whether my mats in my garage gym are clean. Doesn't matter. Yep. Jiu-jitsu mats are different, right? Jiu-jitsu yes. mats got to be clean. Yep. Those guys. That's why we got people to clean those mats yep. after classes. Sure. That's a priority. The ones at my house that just me don't matter. Yeah. That doesn't mean that I'm slacking in other areas. Yeah. Right, there's a minimum standard in certain things. Like there's, and even my home gym mats, I have a vacuum and I hit them with the vacuum when I get too much dog hair on them. Sure. Which actually I, I do that like every one or two days. Hmm. It takes three minutes to just vacuum dog hair. Right. But there's a minimum standard to hold the line. And as far as doing things the most efficient way, I try and do things the right way. Right, try and do things the right way, which generally, Mm-hmm. That coincides with the most efficient way. Generally, generally, there are. But here, that's not what he's talking about here. So when oh, you said, uh, yeah, when you said, I'm a fit dancer, <laughs> uh, we, hey, here's we, the thing, man, bro. This guy, I, you don't, we don't have his name, but man, we need to get together and like talk because, this bro, is this is the kind right of stuff here. that I think about all the time. <laughs> not in this obsessive way, but it, this enters my mind. Man, that's a good question too. So basically, he's asking like, okay. And it happens for literally half a second, maybe one whole second, where like, okay, man, I need the light on. What do I do? Do I, you know, like how he said, do I reach for it? Because that's the easiest way. I don't have to stand up, use all my leg and back muscles to stand up and walk over there. I just reach for it. But what if I can't reach it? Now I got to do expend all the energy of reaching for it, failing, bringing my hand back, and then doing the standing up thing that I was trying to avoid in the first place. So it's one of those things. So what do I do, man? What do I do? Do I just chance it? Or do I just be like, eh, you know, I'm not going to chance anything. I'm just going to expend the extra energy and turn on the light. So what do I do, right? Yeah, man, it's a conundrum. Same thing with the, the soy sauce bowls. Same mm-hmm. thing. Also, here's the, here's one you might. Did you see the meme? Yes. There's there's a couple of memes. Yes. There's a couple of memes about you and the soy sauce bowls. <laughs> I read three. One of them. One of them was like a black and white photo. Mm-hmm. Did you see that one? It was oh. like a black and white photo, but it it said something. It was this black and white photo of. Of soy sauce bowls. Oh yeah, yeah. And what did like, it say? I forget. Like the the struggle, the struggle is real, real or something, or something like, like that. Yeah, but it was, was better the, than the struggle is real. Yeah. And then they had the superhero looking guy that had the two buttons. Yeah, the two <laughs> buttons. <laughs> anyway, here's one, and Brad, and here's one that this this one's a real problem. Small, but a real problem for most people. <laughs> for when most you're, people, yes. Okay. When you're laying in bed at night, you're you're sleeping, and you wake up, you're like, man, I gotta I gotta take it. I gotta use the bathroom. Mm-hmm. 
but not too bad. I don't have to use the bathroom bad, just a little bit. So what do I do? Do I hold it, power through the discomfort because the discomfort isn't that bad and hopefully I'll fall asleep? Because I don't want to get up and wake myself up more and turn on the light and do all this stuff and walk around, get the blood flowing. And then what if I can't fall asleep as quick or whatever? Or I'm tired. I don't even want to get out of bed, you know? So what do I do? Because if I go use the bathroom, oh, man, I'll be fully relaxed. It'll be done. I don't, it won't keep me up. The discomfort won't keep me up. But if I can fall back asleep, I didn't even have to get out of bed. See what I'm saying? <laughs> So what do you do? You're at that. And, and if you really got to use the bathroom, it's no issue because it's obvious, you know. But if you just have to a little <laughs> bit, it's a hard question. Bro. I it's true. believe you're talking oh, about Oh, don't even right act. Now. Don't even act. No, I know. What do you mean? I, is, I, I think spend, that you have I this spend problem. zero seconds. <laughs> I spend zero seconds thinking about that issue. Zero. <laughs> this is no factor whatsoever in my okay, life. So what do you do? You're like, I'm going to go use the bathroom. Uh, wh- here, here's, my, here's my answer to your question. Yeah. If I have to go to the bathroom, I go to the bathroom. What if you kind of have to go to the bathroom, though? There's no kind of. Yes, there I either is. have to oh, or I don't. Oh, no, no, no. You're ba- okay, so if your bladder is full, okay, you got to use the bathroom. What if, you, what if your bladder is one third full? Then I don't have to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. So you have a, a distinct like cutoff then in feeling. So yes. you don't have that gray it's area that I most do or I people, don't. All right. So most of us, we don't have it like that. No, we got to like consider, you know, <laughs> no. the same way that this issues, guy has, has like, no, 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 no. This is, anyway, <sighs> anyway, I dig it. And man, that's going to be one of those ongoing challenges. I think, you know, I think the main, and I almost left that whole second half of the question because the main point of the question was the way you do anything is the way you do everything. Yes, that's true to a point. You should definitely keep, you know, you try and maintain consistent effort and hold the line and everything. But the dichotomy is that if you try and hold the line on every single thing, that's not possible. And you'd spend your whole life cleaning up everything around you and fixing things. Yeah, and waste, what you'd just be, you'd be wasting time yeah. when you have, you need to prioritize and execute, pick the biggest yeah. problems, pick the biggest things are gonna have the most impact on you. And then focus on those things and don't worry about some other things. Yeah. Shoot, man, that's that little conundrum is everywhere. Bro, sometimes I'll be vacuuming. <laughs> and then, you know, how, like when you vacuum over, like, I don't know, let's say it's a piece of big piece of lint. You go over the vacuum once, you know, and it doesn't go in. You go again. It doesn't go in. You go, <laughs> you go, I could have picked that thing up like three, four seconds ago. So why you know? didn't you? Cause I thought I could have, I could have got it with a vacuum, and I wouldn't have to bend down. You know what I mean? It's like that kind of stuff. It you, happens you, all the time. You take laziness to all new right. level, dude. It's efficiency, not la- laziness. But either way, you know what though? This guy, you combined with this guy's question, answered the question with how you do everything. You just establish a protocol. If there's a question, you just do the guaranteed one. Yeah. If I see a piece of lint, I, I, I vacuum it. One it didn't shot. go up. Boom! Pick it up. That's yeah. it. Hundred percent. Maybe you get a double take. Right? Yeah. Because you know. generally you got to go forward and back on a vacuum anyways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can yes. just rerun that same track. Yeah. Because you know you're going forward, back, but you're you're offsetting a little bit. Yeah. And sometimes the back, depending on your brush, depending on the back one, or the back one sometimes is yeah. more powerful. Oh, okay. Because the brush spins a certain way. You Interesting. Know? But either way, yeah, good. But you either do way, one you repeat. Just, okay, yeah. nope. And then guess what? On the forward stroke, you can go now to your next track and you can bend down, grab the piece of lint. You're good to go. Done, yeah. So and the point is establish a protocol where it's like, you know what? I'm not going to waste my time. No. You know, risking it and all this stuff. <laughs> I'm just going to go for the, the, the real deal. Problem solved. Yeah. Either way.